Whenever I do space buns, I can never tell if they look really cute or if they look completely ridiculous. I'm edging towards completely ridiculous. I'm just not sure of them, but I'm leaving them now. Hello everyone. Today I am doing episode two of my advent calendar series. Look at me hugging it. Um, Today I'm doing this one. This is the Boots Profusion advent calendar. I do this one every single year and it's usually a pretty good one. Like this is one of the better, cheaper advent calendars. This cost me £30, so just a little bit cheaper than my last one in last week's video. This is definitely a more affordable makeup calendar. Um, and yeah, this is what this one, this, this what? <laughs> what am I saying? This is what this year's looks like. It's in this, oh my goodness, shapes, pentagon. I'm gonna be so embarrassed if this is wrong. Is this a pentagon? One, two, three, four, five. I think so. It's in this shape and it's quite pretty. It's got kind of like a, I don't know. I, yeah, it's kind of like galaxy vibes. So yeah, I think it's a cute little design. And then if you open it up, this is, oh, hello. This is what we've got. This is what it looks like. So you've got all of the doors across here. So yeah, I'm just gonna unbox this. And then afterwards, I'm gonna try and do a full face of makeup with all of the products that come out of it. As always, I've already done my foundation, concealer and powder already because I never include those in the full face challenge. Should I just get on with it? Let's go. Day number one. This is gonna be a pain, isn't it? This is gonna be a pain. Day number one is this one here. What have we got? So in day number one, we have a little pot of no, not a pot of glitter. It's like a little pot of eyeshadow pigment, I guess. It's in this pretty kind of coppery colour. I'm determined to keep this calendar looking really neat. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Door number two is this really skinny one down here. Oh, look. We got a pair of tweezers. Wow, these are tiny. Um, these are just some little gold ones. Day number three. Uh oh. Day number three is another like long skinny one. We have some kind of pencil. Ooh, it, might, it might be a brow pencil. <laughs> oh, it's a waterproof eyeliner pencil and it's in this kind of brownie shade. Day number four is another skinny one. There's a lot of like long tubey products we have oh we've got a lip gloss like a little a little lip gloss this one's in the shade nude and it's a nudie color it looks like quite a nice shade it's kind of like a pale nude day number five is another long one another long skinny one it looks like another pencil so this is another waterproof eyeliner pencil but this one is in black do we need two? I mean, yeah, I guess they're different colours. Maybe I would have put them a little bit further apart, but I'm just being fussy, aren't I? Day number six is this one. So we've got a sparkling lip topper. This one is like a really kind of bright orangey sparkly colour. Day number seven is... Ooh, this looks like something different. So we've got a clear brow gel. This is what it looks like. It's literally just a, a clear, clear brow gel. Not really much else I can say about it. Day number eight is this one. Looking at the shape, I bet this is a brush. Like it definitely looks like it's gonna be a brush. Is it a brush? It is a brush. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Oh, it's quite soft. I guess this would be a contour brush, maybe blush brush, whatever you wanna use it for. Day number nine, we have we have another lip gloss. Is this the same? It is not the same. Ignore me. This was the one from earlier. This is the one I just opened. This one's in the shade Naked and it's more of like, I guess like a slightly darker nude with a little hint of pink in it. Day number 10. So we have a little blush and highlight duo. So this is is obviously the blush, this is the highlight. It looks quite nice. Oh, actually, it's quite a dark blush. Like it's quite a deep pink color. And then the highlighter is just like a shimmery light pink. What is that? Day number 11. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see the outlines. It's the weirdest looking shape I've ever seen. Day number 11, we have a little tube of something. <gasps> we have some glitter adhesive, so some glue. I'm guessing that means we're gonna get some glitter at some point to actually like use it. I mean, imagine if we don't and we just got glitter adhesive, but no glitter. <laughs> I'm guessing we're gonna get some glitter later in the calendar. Day number 12, we have not another one. We've got another sparkling lip topper. This is like a pink sparkly one. <gasps> 
This one's in the shade Solar, and I think I forgot to say the shade of this one. This one's in the shade Jupiter. So they're all kind of like spacey names. Well, then I immediately like them a little bit more. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's like a spacey design. I like that. Ah, oh no, it got caught on my space bun. <gasps> And I've got space buns. That was so not intentional. Anyway, day number 13 is, oh no, I'm ripping it. <gasps> We've got some eyeshadow. Ta-da! We have a little shadow duo. Wow. So on one side, we've got a matte brown and then the other side, we've got this pink like pressed glitter. Day number 14 is stuck. There we go. Oh, day number 14 is another sparkling lip topper. But you know what? I'm excited to see the name, Pink Galaxy. <gasps> I just really like the spacey names. But yeah, we've got another sparkling lip topper. This is another pink one, but it's much more of like a pastel-y, lighter pink. I think I'm up to 15. Day number 15 is, we have some eyelash adhesive more glue. <laughs> we haven't actually had anything for the other one yet. So, so far they've given us two glues, but nothing to actually use them with. But I'm guessing that does mean that some eyelashes are on their way, I'd hope. I feel like they should put the products next to each other. So after this, the glitter, straight after this, the eyelashes. I mean, maybe they have. Let's find out. <laughs> Day number 16 is... Ooh, ow. Okay, well, it's not some eyelashes, but we have a highlighter. This is what it looks like. It looks really pretty. I think this would definitely be too dark for me, but it's a really pretty shade. It's like a kind of bronzy, highlighty shade. Day number 17 is this really long one. What is it? Oh, it's a brush. Yep, so we've got another little brush. This one is an eyeshadow brush. It looks quite nice. It feels quite soft, again, like the other brush. Day number 18 is this one. Not another one. <laughs> we've got another sparkling lip topper. What's this one's name? Oh, this one's called Earth. This one is more of like a champagne-y, sort of golden-y, sparkly color. <laughs> We've had four sparkly lip toppers now. That's definitely, I think, enough. Day number 19 is huge. Like it's this massive square here. That's a pretty big door for halfway through. Halfway through? Mm, we're not halfway through, but you know, in the middle of the calendar, it's a big door. Day number 19. We have a full on eyeshadow palette halfway through the calendar. So we've got seven different shades. Um, they look really nice. Like, these are like some really nice colors. So it's kind of like a pinky, reddy toned eyeshadow palette. I really like the look of this. I think that's a really nice product. Day number 20, we've got another long skinny one. Ooh, not another. Uh oh. Okay, this one is a brow pencil. Ooh, we've got a brow pencil. It looks like a very light shade. So, you know, a bit of a risky product. It's not going to work for everyone. But yeah, we do get an eyebrow product in there. I feel like it probably will be okay for me, but definitely wouldn't be okay for everyone. So, meh, 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 meh. Day number 21. What we gonna get in my lucky number? <gasps> I got the eyelashes. <laughs> so we have the false eyelashes to go with our eyelash glue. This is what they look like. They look like some nice little eyelashes. Oh no. This means I've got to do eyelashes in this video. I suck at eyelashes. I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> Day number 22 looks suspiciously like those sparkly lip toppers. So are we getting enough? Oh no. I think we've got another one. <laughs> oh no. It's another sparkly lip topper. It's not, it's not, it's not. This is a sparkling, oh no, they did a typo. Oh no. <laughs> they put sparling instead of sparkling. Um, so yeah, this is something different. It's an eye topper. It's in this kind of like coppery color. It looks quite nice. Day number 23, we have, <gasps> Yay, we have bronzer. This is a highlight and contour duo. The shades look nice. I feel like they would work pretty well for me, but they definitely wouldn't work for everyone. Like this is gonna be way too light for some people. So it's not really gonna work for all skin tones. But yeah, we've got a matte bronzy contour shade. And then on the other side, we've got this highlighter. This is in like a nice sort of champagne-y shade. Day number 24 is this one. <gasps> we have stars. So we have a little pot of silver and gold stars. Normally with something like this, I'd be like, mm, glitter, meh, but they're stars. So I immediately like this. <laughs> 
oh, I can do my little star freckles. I haven't done them in ages. Should I do star freckles in this video? Hello, I'm just editing this video and I wanted to give you guys a heads up because I know not everyone watches the testing makeup parts of these videos. Some people just watch the unboxings. So you won't see later in the video that when I go to use this product, I realize you can't actually use it and they've made a big mistake with it. So I just wanted to point that out. Watch to the end of the video if you want to see what they did. <laughs> and then finally we have day 25. It is, ooh. We have another eyeshadow palette. That's so good. So it means you get two, although they're quite similar. This is the one from earlier and this is the one that I just opened. I feel like they're quite similar, but yeah. Oh yeah, they are really quite similar, aren't they? I guess this one's more of like a brownie sort of brownie toned eyeshadow palette whereas this one's more like pinky ready so they are slightly different so yeah i feel like that is actually really nice both of these eyeshadow palettes look so nice and that is the calendar all unboxed i actually did a really good job at doing that neat and yeah i think overall it is a really decent advent calendar for 30 pounds you get all of that so yeah i think you get a good variety maybe we didn't need that many sparkly lip toppers but it wasn't too bad i think we got four that's not too bad I'm pretty sure there might even be a full face. Like I'll find out in a minute when I do my makeup. I think there might be a full face of makeup in there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's worth £30? I think it is. I think £30 is a pretty good price for what you get in that. I am now going to do my full face of makeup, or at least try to, with all of the products inside. Let's go. So I'm gonna start off with the highlight and contour duo. And I'm also gonna take the little sort of tapered brush that you get in there as well. And I'm just gonna take a bit of, and I'm just gonna take a bit of the contour shade and I'm gonna use that obviously to contour. <laughs> I do like to state the obvious me. I feel like it's all right. Like it's a really nice shade. I feel like it's that perfect contour shade. But in terms of like the color, like how dark it is, if you are any more tanned than me, which let's be real, that's 90% of the world. Um, most people are more tanned than me. I feel like it's not gonna show because even I struggled to get it to show. Like I had to proper dig my brush in and keep going layer after layer. Like it took me a while to actually make it do something. So yeah, if you're any more tanned than I am, probably not gonna have much luck with that because it is just very light. I'm not gonna use the highlighter in this because actually, no, I probably am. <laughs> I might come back to this highlighter in a bit, but I'm now gonna move on to my blush. So I've got this blush and highlight duo. I'm just gonna take a bit of the blush. I think I'm just gonna take it on the same brush again. Just gonna dab that out a little bit with my sponge because it's come out quite strong. To be fair, it's quite a dark colour. But there we go. I feel like that now looks a lot better. I think it's all right. So for highlighter, we have a few different options. We've got the highlighter that comes with the contour, a highlighter that comes with the blush, and then a highlighter on its own. I think I am gonna go for the kind of goldeny one that goes with the contour. And I think I'm just gonna take it on this little brush that you get in the calendar. Yes, it is an eyeshadow brush, but I'm just gonna use it for my highlighter. It should be fine. I actually think that's a really pretty highlighter. Like it's a really nice shade. Um, the only thing is it's quite glittery. It's definitely more just chunks of glitter, but I feel like it is pretty. So for eyebrows, you get three different products. We've got some tweezers. We've also got an eyebrow pencil. We've also got a clear brow gel. I'm just gonna start off with the brow gel, which I know is weird, or is it weird? I see other people doing brow gel first, but whenever I do it in a video, there's always some people that are like, why are you doing brow gel first? But I swear that's what some people do. And I feel like it just works better for me. Like I brush up my hairs first with this and then fill in with this after, I don't know. <laughs> It's actually quite a nice brow gel. I feel like it's worked pretty well. It's done the job. Now I'm gonna take the eyebrow pencil and I'm gonna try and fill my brows in with this. I don't know if this is gonna match me, but we'll find out. Well, that took an embarrassingly long time. I literally had to wipe my eyebrows off and start again three times, but we're done. Eyebrows are done. 
I can't anymore. I just, I don't know, that eyebrow pencil was just not working for me. I really struggled with it. I don't really think there was anything in particular wrong with it. There we go, brows are done. And as for the colour, I feel like it was actually a really good match for me. So I'm now going to move on to eyeshadow. We've got a few different products to pick from. I think I'm going to go for one of the eyeshadow palettes and then maybe I might use a bit of the pigment. I might not, we'll see. Um, but I think I'm going to go for, let's go for the more kind of reddy, pinky toned one. Because I feel like in the last video I did a very orangey look. So we'll go for the pinky one. I'm just going to start off with a bit of this sort of pale, warm brown colour. I'm now gonna take a bit of this sort of matte red. Well, it's a matte red, but it's got like tiny little flecks in it. But I feel like it's not gonna be too shimmery. I hope. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Hopefully it works. Cause I know you're not supposed to put like a shimmer through your crease, but I feel like it's barely a shimmer. Okay, I think that is my eyeshadow done. That shimmer shade is so pretty. Like, did you see how it applied as well? I applied it with my finger and it went on so nicely. Um, the mattes were okay. Like, they applied nicely. I feel like they're a little bit tricky to blend and that's why, I mean, it's not the best around there. But I've tried my best. We all know I'm not the best at eyeshadow. So I think for me, this isn't too bad and I think it is quite a cool little eyeshadow look. So we also get two eyeliners. Um, I think I think I'll take a little bit of the black eyeliner. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'll take a little bit of it and maybe just line up here a bit. Oh, I could also draw on my little bottom lashes that I do. I feel like they didn't really do too much. It's probably not the best eyeliner to do that with. It's more of like a waterline one, but I tried. It just didn't do too much. It wasn't very pigmented. It didn't really show up that much. So surprise, surprise, we didn't get a mascara, but we did get some fake eyelashes. So I guess that kind of counts. It's still an eyelash product. Um, I am going to do those at the end. So I'm going to move on to my lips next. We got a bunch of different lip products in the calendar. Um, two of them are lip glosses, although they remind me more of liquid lipstick, so I'll have to try them and see. And then we've also got four sparkling lip toppers, as we know. Um, so I think I'm going to take the darker one in the shade Naked. Let me see. I feel like it's a liquid lipstick, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a lip gloss. Well, it doesn't smell great. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't smell great. Yeah, I would definitely say that's more of a liquid lipstick than a gloss. It's even dried down to pretty much a matte. In fact, yeah, it's completely matte. So I don't know why they've called it a lip gloss. It is definitely not a lip gloss. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's quite a nice liquid lipstick. It's a nice shade. It applied quite nicely. I've done a bit of a messy application because these days I'm used to using a lip liner before I do my lipstick. But I tried. I, yeah, I think it's all right. It's just labelled wrong. You are not a lip gloss. Don't lie to us. Do I add one? I feel like I've got to add one of them. So you get four different sparkling lip toppers. I think I'm just going to go for the kind of champagne-y toned one in the shade earth and i'm just gonna take a little bit of that and i'm just gonna put it just oh oh my goodness that is sparkly i mean that is what it says it is wow is that even shown on camera how sparkly that is it's actually really pretty it's just not my kind of thing so finally we've got the eyelashes and we've got the eyelash glue to go with it and then we've also got the little stars and the glitter adhesive to go with it so i think i'm going to go and do these off camera because they're all going to be a bit fiddly and i need to cut the eyelashes down and all that and i'll be back with the finished look I found those eyelashes so tricky to put on. This this is as good as it's gonna get. We're just gonna leave it there. I know they're not on that well, but I really, really struggled. I think this one doesn't look too bad. This one, you can really see the corner bit. I just really struggle with the corners on eyelashes, but these more than ever, I don't know why. Now, you might be wondering, Sophie, where are the star freckles that you mentioned? So, got my little pot of stars, opened it up, Hmm, this is what I see. So it's got like a container that you would use for sort of fine glitter where you go like that and it all comes out. Obviously the stars aren't gonna come out of that because the holes are smaller than the stars. So I was like, oh, that's fine. You just take the lid off, right? No, <laughs> no, not right. I cannot get this off. 
Like I've tried and I've tried. I think my nails would rip off if I tried. Like, and these are my real nails. I don't mean fake nails. I mean my real nails. I cannot get it out. I'm gonna ask Alex later to see if he can get it out and if I'm just being rubbish, but I don't think you can get it out. So I think they've made a huge mistake here. They've put the stars in the wrong kind of pot. So yeah, can't do my little star freckles because I can't actually get to them without smashing the bottle. So yeah, that's a bit of a fail. They've made a mistake there. <laughs> so yeah, this is my finished look. This is my full face of makeup using the Profusion advent calendar. And we got a full face, like we actually got a full face. So I think that's really good. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Oh my goodness, I can feel it tickling me. Oh, I, I, how does anyone wear eyelashes? Um, Yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.